there's not a lot of brother and sister duos playing professional basketball anyway. But you know, for for, uh, for me to see her in the same place is pretty cool for sure. Obviously, the process is so different for her. But has she given you any advice? Given you pointers on kind of how to handle yourself? I mean, yeah. Um, you know, just have confidence. Um, you know, it's also basketball. Mm -hmm. Don't you know? Don't be stressing. Just you know, have have fun with it. Um, enjoy it, and then just you know, work hard in every every workout you do. That being said, how do you think it went? Uh, I think it went well. Um, I think I, you know, I pushed myself. Um, you know, went hard every drill I did. Um, I think overall, I did a pretty good job. So you're from Virginia, right? Yeah, Virginia you, Beach. Yeah, can you kind of tell us what, um, you know, where you come from, how, how your road to, to this point? Yeah. Um, you know, I've been playing basketball. You know, as young as I can remember, probably like five years old. Um, you know, played for Blue Williams, um, and obviously went to Duke. Um, you know, I was at Norfolk Academy High School, um, and then my senior year of high school, I went to IMG. So, um, you know, just continuing to do that, um, just continuing to play at a high level. And then, obviously, my time at Duke was great. My two years there, um, you know, really high level. Um, every game was high intensity, you know, being coaches last year, this year. So, Did you follow the, the Wizards at all growing up in Virginia Beach? Um, I mean, yeah, you know, it's always on TV, on the local uh, – NBC something, I can't remember. <laughs> um, but it was always, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Um, so, I mean, I'd always see their their games on TV um, growing up. Yeah. Mark, obviously basketball runs in your family, but where do you think you got the fundamentals from? Because that's something that has always kind of stood out about you. Uh, I mean, probably just watching my sister play. Um, you know, I think just watching her, I got a feel for, you know, the, the basics, the fundamentals, you know, really young, just watching her being around basketball. And then obviously I watched a lot of basketball growing up. So I think just being around it as much as I I was uh, helped me. Who were some of the pros that you watched or liked the best? I mean, I love watching, like, KD and LeBron growing up. Those were, like, you know, my two favorite guys to watch. Uh, and then as far as bigs, I love watching, like, Joel and B. So, I mean, guys like that. What do you think about your potential fit here with the Wizards? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I feel like I bring that immediate, you know, rim protection, being that lob threat. Uh, I feel like I can bring that from day one, you know, and then also playing hard. I feel like I always play hard. So, I think those are a couple of things that I can bring right away. Hey, Mark, when you look at your time at Duke, what were some of the things that Coach K did to prepare you for this moment right now? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think just him coaching me hard, um, you know, just – learning how to work, not necessarily working hard. Um, you know, just having a routine, doing doing your thing every uh, every day. Um, and just, you know, the vibe, like just knowing, you know, what you put in is what you get out. So probably those things for, for him. And of course, you know, your drum protection, your defense. What are some of those intangibles you bring to a, a ball club? Yeah, uh, I think I'm someone that's really easy to play with. Um, yeah, I play hard. Um, you know, I'll be both of and I need to be. Um, but yeah, I think just, you know, being easy to play with is probably one of the biggest things. You know, just work hard. I'm pretty consistent and stuff like that. And as you've been going through this process, what are some of the things you've been enjoying and just kind of just saving this moment? Yeah, I mean, honestly, just the whole thing. You know, you're about to, you know, play basketball for a living. You know, that's pretty, pretty cool. Not a lot of people get to do that. So just to be, you know, in the NBA for one is just probably the biggest thing. Like, and then, Lastly, any any Duke guys that you've been able to kind of lean on and get advice from through this process, or just in general? Um, through the process, not as much, but I mean, you know, like my time there, obviously there are a lot of Duke guys that come back around. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as like this year, like the five of us that are in the draft, like we talk to each other all the time, so. You know, that's also pretty cool. You know, not a lot of teams can have, you know, all their teammates in the same draft class. So that's also pretty cool. Mark, where else have you worked out? Um, Charlotte, New York, uh, San Antonio, Chicago. Then this is the fifth one I've gone to yet. Yeah. Do you have any left to do? Nah, that's it. What can you tell us about AJ Griffin's game? Oh, man, he can shoot it. Uh, every time he shoots it, I think it's going in. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, you know, he's young. But, you know, he's got a real strong frame. Uh, you know, he works hard. You know, he's always, um, you know, a guy that's always in the gym. Whenever you go, he's there. 
Um, and then obviously he's just, you know, really, really gifted athletically. So those things. But he shoots the ball. Do uh, when teams interview you, uh, do they ask you about Boncaro and, and Griffin and some of your teammates that are likely to be drafted? I mean, sometimes. Um, I mean, it's just again, it's like it's cool. You know, you, you, a lot of your teammates in great situations. So, you know, not a lot of not a lot of teams get that opportunity. So it's pretty cool for us. I think the Wizards list you at seven one. Do you think that's accurate or? Uh, I mean, with the shoes on, I'd probably say seven two. But I mean, I'm cool with the seven one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, think you're still growing at all, or? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I mean, if I am, I am. But if not, it's cool. I guess, what was the conversation like talking with the front office and, you know, maybe any feedback that they had for you? Um, it was great. Um, I mean, just talking to them, you know, they just got to just got a feel for who I am. Um, and I felt like I, you know, was pretty comfortable with them. So I thought it went pretty well. How'd you feel with the 20 in two minutes? Oh yeah, that's that's it's legit. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's no joke. Um, but I mean, I thought I thought I did pretty well for it. Um, just had it. It's all about pace because you start too quick, it's over for you. Um, but I mean, I thought I did well. I kept a good pace throughout. And with the one-on-one -on -one workout is or one-on-zero workout is unique in itself. But for someone your size, I guess, how are they throwing coaches at you? Do they have big man coaches trying to give yeah. you a test. Uh, I mean, just having multiple trainers out there throwing passes, defending, um, you know, playing, you know, two on one defense. So, I mean, just having different guys, um, just, you know, different different play styles. I think it's just the best thing. What did uh, how you performed at the combine done? What has it done for you in terms of interest from teams, particularly, you know, just measuring out with the biggest points man and stuff like that? Um, I mean, I think it helped. Um, I mean, it's. It is what it is. I mean, that's a gift from, gift from God. <laughs> it's not like I can train my wingspan, train my standing reach, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's obviously an advantage for me. I think I utilize it pretty well when I play. So. Who do you study at the next level, to, or if anyone, um, to make sure you utilize it? Um, I mean, as far as guys that I can compare myself to, like right now, I'd probably say like a Robert Williams. But I mean, as far as guys like that, I just love to watch in general, like their games as a whole. Probably like guys like Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, um, DeAndre, Giannis, guys like that, just that are you know at that size able to do so much.